We hope you enjoyed the Rock in a Hard Place Lab. Let's explore plate tectonic theory a little more. Plate tectonic theory is based on the idea that the Earth only had one landmass, which we called Pangaea. Over the course of millions of years, Pangaea drifted apart to form continents that we see and know today. The movement of these continents has resulted in many of the geological formations on Earth today. When plates move towards one another, convergent boundaries are formed. If this occurs under a landmass, then it is referred to as a collision boundary, and mountains are formed. If the convergent boundary occurs under a landmass and an oceanic plate, then the oceanic plate will shift underneath the landmass and into the earth, forming deep ocean trenches and, depending on the conditions, volcanoes. When plates move away from each other, a divergent boundary is formed. When this happens, either a rift or an ocean ridge will form. A rift occurs when two landmasses are on the divergent boundary, and an oceanic ridge is formed when the oceanic plate is on the boundary. An example of a rift is the Great Rift Valley in Africa, and an example of a ridge is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So you know that plates can either move toward or away from each other, but what happens when they slide past each other or move towards each other at an angle? This is what we call a transform boundary. At a transform boundary, the plates press against each other, which causes a buildup of stress. When the plates slip and move past each other, the stress is released, causing an earthquake. These boundaries are often referred to as strike-slip faults. An example of a transform boundary, or a strike-slip fault, is the San Andreas Fault in California. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has helped you understand plate tectonics and some of the results of plate movement. Next time you see a mountain or a valley, take a minute to reflect on what you've learned about how they form.